Yeah, good day, everyone. Um, just an update on my group build for John Moore's Scar Models Operation Torch and the old um, Airfix half track. I um, have all but got the half track finished, but um, putting some windscreen glass in there. Um, and once the um, pigments, the dull coat dries hard, I'll put some chalk dust on it. Um, I achieved a few things. I'll put, I'll put some clearance um, markers on the mud guards and some handles on the uh, bonnet and the side latches. Uh, Sort of got the effect I was after for the seats, a bit worn and dirty. Um, the road wheels got a bit of contrast, and the extra detail I put on the dry sprocket. Um, through here, the little bits and pieces I was real happy with because it just looks a little bit better than what I did before. Um, the whole kit, I um, got my tarp holding and stuff done and uh, camouflage net in the back I haven't got any jerry cans but I left some room for them when I get some um, yeah I got the windscreen panel opened um, some little lights on the side that I that I noticed on some of the pictures I had um, just put, a, put some wiper blades on these when I put the glass in and then put a bit of dust on it, you know, with little wiper marks where they've been going. So that's that. Um, the model was painted with um, life colour German Desert Yellow. I know John said dark yellow, but I didn't have any. Then I washed it with some of this cheap burnt sienna oil paint. It's really good too, John. It worked good. Um, then I watered this down and made a acrylic washi stuff out of that for a sandy effect and then just add some chipping with some ink brown citadel um, paint sort of stuff it is so the kit itself didn't go to, together too bad um, the tracks were a shit, they didn't fit. Um, but they'll hide themselves once I get the um, as honest groundwork. This um, will probably be the last update I do on this until I get the door armor built. The 88 will be painted the same way. Um, add some detail to it but I won't add too much because um, it's going to have some bits and pieces um, be covered over a little bit with like a camouflage net that I had uh, the second thing I was having trouble with figures so what I've been doing with the figures and it's really turned out to be a bigger job than what I thought I have been slowly cutting and shutting figures. Um, cutting the heads off. These guys all had German steel helmets on. I've cut the heads off some other guys. Um, so I'll cut the heads off <laughs> the other guys. And uh, I've been gluing them and Posing them, so I'm mean, using pieces off the other ones. Um, having their heads turned a little bit more one way. Um, changing the poses. This one here, you can see I've cut him a fair bit. I'm still working on that one. Same with this guy here. Now, and this guy. And there should be a commander figure, the pair of. So these are the 
soldiers that I will be using. Um, can I say one thing? Um, some more work I did to the, the flat gun, uh, the limber part of it, but um, before I go too far, I also, from the old plastic driver figures, these bloody things, sorry for swearing, I cut their heads off too, um, and so I've salvaged helmets for, I can stack some helmets on my half track, uh, and some boots, got to hollow the legs out, um, selections of arms and legs. Now, what can I say about these airfix soldiers? Um, they've got really good moulded detail. They are very nicely moulded. But um, whatever airfix make them out of is the worst shite material. I've ever I've only I just why they do it I, I, you can't clean seam lines out it just sort of tears and scratches and it's like a horrible hard vinyl the same as they make these tracks out of um, so the only thing I could find to glue or that would glue um, the shite plastic vinyl from Airfix is this contact uh, for all laminates, wood, leather, rubber, metal and concrete and even that struggles to stick it. Um, it is absolute crap. <laughs> And I've also been reading a bit because I've never sort of painted figures up or stuff around when I was a kid and I always found when I was doing them when I was younger that after you played with them for a little while the paint had come off. So I've been working out a bit on um, doing what I can use for um, like a primer. Um, the best bet that I was told I can mix some PVA normal PVA wood glue with um, some white acrylic paint. So I'll mix some with some of the little jars of AFX the starter paint pack out of the starter kit, and you brush those on. It acts like a primer that will stick to this shite, and it is shite. Um, so I'll get those done and painted. <laughs> I haven't painted them before, so if anyone can help me out with some tips on painting um, this shite plastic, let me know, because it's really disappointing. Um, it looks like I've had a mass murder here. This body's been cut apart here everywhere. Ugh. Legs and stuff cut off, guys, and I feel really bad. Don't feel bad, but yeah, so this will probably be the last update on this one. I'll do the reveal next. I, I couldn't do, depending on how I go, I might do one on the flat gun, but the flat gun is sort of going to be covered up a little bit with some camouflage netting, so I'm not really over fussed with the detail, the extra detail on that, because I think a lot of it will be um, hidden. The kit, this kit itself, I mean, it is showing its age. Um, the gun shield, I was going to just make another one from scratch, but um, it's very thick. I've been mean, scale thickness of the half track I'd have job told. Uh, I did muck around with the wheels a little bit on this one. Just let me move this out of the way here a bit. Um, I have worn these wheels down a fair bit more so I, I thought the tread was a little bit too um, proud on the half track so these ones um, are on the front of like on the 
articulated point of the trailer, so I thought a few photos I've seen, they sort of get a bit warm where they've been dragged around, where the back ones are going to be not as torn as around as much, so I thought I'd just do that for a bit of added effect. Um, and I experimented with a few things on this one, so I um, painted it. Um, and then I tried something else that I've seen on another channel. Um, I used watered down PVA glue, this is the second time I use it now. I used watered down PVA glue through my airbrush as a gloss coat ready to allow the wash. Um, and I must say that it um, it worked really, really well. Uh, it didn't come off the um, white spirits, didn't affect it at all. And then I went over, watered this down in a, if I find the little jar here I was using, I made like a really, really watered down, virtually coloured water. And uh, I brushed over the half track to sort of give it that effect after the wash, um, sort of a dusty effect. I got the effect I was after underneath was still showing a bit of German, German grey from the original paint job. Um, and uh, so, I'm, yeah, I'm happy with that. I mean, it's not the best. Um, but at least it's done. And if someone does pick up the model, at least you can see that you've had some sort of attempt to do something to it. And the tracks, the road wheels, I sort of got the effect I wanted now. I've given everything a really thin down coat of buff, to me a buff. Um, and the extra detail on the road wheel, drive wheel here on both sides, I think the extra work I put into that paid off. This wheel here, for some reason, has got bigger holes than everyone else, and I'm very disappointed with that because it's the first thing I see, so I might um, try to cover that up somewhere in the, when I put it in the door armour. But the effect, for, uh, i never sort of done anything like this before, as I keep saying, but um, I'm pretty happy with it. And I said I've left a bit of area there for jerry cans. <coughs> if they come on out now, it's the 31st of July. Um... The only way I could probably get some jerry cans and bits and pieces that some of the 76 scale has scale kits come with a few accessories and I have somewhere here a couple of Hasegawa GMCs but I, don't, I want the American, the German type jerry cans in it. Um, but I've got all the little bits and pieces added on I wanted to. The Spitfire is now ready to go ahead. The glue's all set hard, so I can start doing a bit of sanding and filling. And until I get to the next stage of that, um, I also will take the opportunity to thank um, John for supplying. If ever everyone hasn't seen the prize, um, John's. Um, the prize of the Operation Torch group build is a beautiful 135 scale um, dragon and Japanese chiha or something um, so I appreciate John that's a very generous prize and it's really um, far too much I think um, the prize should be that we have a privilege to compete such a nice guy and we shouldn't be playing for prizes but um, be nice to win um, and it'd be nice to utilize in a group build um, on the off chance that I win I want you to do a box inbox review on it first because um, it looks a nice kit so to my subscribers, if you haven't joined John's group build, have a go. The date has been extended to the 31st of July 2017. Um, th that's the 31st of July for those who don't know. And, uh, and we'll repeat it again. The final extension is the 31st of July. 2017. 
Um, nice to see some updates through. Um, a couple of quick shout outs. I thought um, one of my subscribers, um, or two of my subscribers, might join. Um, Model Art 663, Michael. Surely this an aircraft you can build for North Africa. The Rebels at Cloud 9. There has to be something you could build. Did they use ATATs in 1943 or 42? Uh, it said it could be anything really now for North uh, for North Africa in that sort of period. So um, to my subscribers, join in. Um, to the guys that have um, done some work so far in the updates I've seen. Um, and I keep forgetting the guy's name, and I do apologise, but he's building the Long Range Desert Group um, command car. That's a cracking job. I love it. Um, I really like the way uh, the paint job and the figures and everything have come through, and um, I wish you could paint my 72nd scale figures for me. Um, um, Simon is building a Crusader, which is looking really good. Uh, for an old kit, um, Jamrot, Jamrot. Um, I know you're building something, but I haven't seen your update. Um, Steve Mottram, I I know you were building the old Panzer Four. I haven't seen an update on that one yet, but looking forward to it. Um, and to all the rest of the guys, I've been trying to go through YouTube and see your entries and updates and stuff and um, let's get them going um, and as John said buy a kit and build it so get your kit done and build another one and get a second entry in I'm, I'm having a go at doing two and the one that I least thought I'd enjoy which is this one I've actually had a ball and that's what it's all about so to my subscribers and new viewers thank you um, I've got 84 subscribers now, which is pretty awesome. Uh, getting a couple every now and then, so I must be doing something right. So, till next time, um, be good and uh, model hard. Catch ya.